10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. Got Three. And that's the call we want to hear. Good performance on that first stage so far. Team plus 30 seconds, top to nine, powered by nine Merlin 1Gs. Pushing Dragon into low Earth orbit on the way to the International Space Station. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage one for all them. And we're into the problem bucket. second stage abort mode on the first stage that is going to take them through the first stage burning just before the second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina. That next milestone coming up shortly will be MVAC chill underway. MVAC chill underway. There's a call out. We're getting the second stage engine turbo pumps ready for their ignition coming up in just a little more than uh, 40 seconds. We've got the major events coming up here shortly. We're going to get main engine cutoff at 2 minutes 36 seconds. The stages will separate. Then the second stage will ignite, carrying Dragon on its way into low Earth orbit. Everything continues to look good. Stage 1 throttle down. Stage one throttling down at three and a half G's. Getting ready for Miko. Miko. Stage separation. Copy, two alpha. All right, we have a ignition of the second stage and you saw that green flash Dude, of that GTEB fluid and crew three is now on their way to the international space station on the left side first stage you can see the titanium grid fence coming out the streaks uh, of the exhaust of the second stage engine going by and the lights of Florida down in the background. Position signal. That's right, and on your right, that second stage glowing. With that red color we like to see, indicating everything is proceeding well. Now three minutes and 40 seconds into flight, everything's still on track. Acquisition is signaled, Bermuda. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory and that nominal. Call, that call out of acquisition of signal Johnny. Bermuda, that just means the Bermuda ground station has the signals from the second stage of Dragon and Falcon 9. Uh, currently on the first stage, we are coasting to Apogee, beginning a slow 180 degree pitch so that when the vehicle comes back through the atmosphere, the engines are pointed down towards the drone ship when we do the relight. Relight for the entry burn will come at T plus seven minutes and 30 seconds, three minutes from now. Currently the first stage about 166 kilometers up, continuing to coast to Apogee for another brief period. 
Meanwhile, that second stage still propelling the Crew-3 astronauts up the eastern seaboard, and it will continue to fire. That's about a six-minute burn to deliver the astronauts into orbit. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Endurance copies. And a good call out from the ground teams. I always love to hear trajectory nominal, and the crew gets to hear it too on the call. -out. Acquisition signal, New Hampshire. And the New Hampshire tracking station has acquired the telemetry signal. Five minutes and 30 seconds into flight today, everything is still proceeding nominal. And Courtney, right now on the second stage, uh, it's such a uh, large amount of propellant. It takes a while for second stage to uh, really accelerate. The crew right now, Dragon it looks like they're up, pulling about. Nominal. Looks like we're pulling about we're one and a half G's. G's. Yeah, right on cue, those check-ins on the second stage performance. Everything is still looking good on that second stage. The next milestone on the second stage will be SECO. And we're getting our views now from inside of Endurance, our first views of the crew on their way to the International Space Station. We're one minute away from entry burn of the first stage. Hopefully we'll get a camera view back on the first stage as we uh, light the three engines to come back into the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Endurance copies. Another good check-in with the crew, confirming everything is still looking good so far on both ends. That next milestone coming at 7 minutes and 30 seconds will be entry burn start. Currently waiting for the call out from the SpaceX propulsion responsible engineer that the three Merlin 1D engines have lit to begin the slow, to begin slowing down the first stage. Prior to entering the Earth's Stage atmosphere. two FTS is safe. Stage one entry burn is in startup. We've heard stage one entry burn is startup. We've lit the center engine. We've got the two side engines, three engines running. This is a 27 second burn. This will slow the first stage down. We'll then enter the atmosphere where the grid fins begin to work, and then we will fire the single center engine as we approach the drone ship. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Confirmation, entry burn shut down. And meanwhile, that second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Stage two, internal guidance. Shannon. Copy Shannon. There's that call for Shannon. Stage one is transonic. Stage one decelerating as we prepare for entry burn. But our attention is right now looking at stage two as we get that ready for shutdown. Shut down. Stage one landing burn. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And the second stage has done its job. Our crew three astronauts have been delivered into orbit. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Landing leg deploy. and file confirms we are in space. Dragon SpaceX, launch escape system is disarmed. Thank you. 
Signal Newfoundland. Some great call outs. That next milestone is spacecraft separation around 12 minutes into flight. And some final words from the crew as well. There they are, our Crew 3 astronauts. Now in orbit, that next milestone will be the deployment of the nose cone. That will be about a five minute process. It will expose those forward bulkhead Dracos and will prepare them for checkouts as well. Nick Courtney watching them in zero G right now working their displays. It looks so easy, but we had the benefit of watching the, the launch team, the spacecraft team, the NASA team, everybody working here for the last weeks working through this.